Hello and welcome back to next episode of War the Waves 2. We currently find ourselves at war with Germany. Um, we are doing a little bit of a cruiser clash here with the uh, Verace, the Iwate, and the Tukawa. We're allied with Italy, uh, so we, that's why we have the Verace, not exactly a uh, Japanese name. Um, so that's a uh, Italian armoured cruiser. And that is about 12,000 tonnes. Meanwhile, our vessels over here, I think they're about, saying about 11,000 tons. Yeah, six 9-inch guns. And then this is four 9-inch guns here as well. Um, so we're going to be engaging the enemy here. We've also got the uh, Takachiho uh, as our light cruiser who's moving up the front. But yeah, let's uh, let's get into it. It's been a while since we played all the waves. But uh, I do enjoy this game every now and then. I am going to put the Verace on to AI control. And uh, we'll just move ahead like this, keep cruising. And we'll just keep the aim running. Good. They're probably going to be somewhere up here. So, uh, Takawa can move up. Toshiko so is also looking. And we can put this to fast speed until we detect a enemy ship. Now, I don't think the Germans actually have much currently around um, this area. Though we were waiting for them to come as they were transiting basically the entire ocean. Okay, we've got a ship detection, so that's uh, quite a big distance out. Uh, let me have a look. Yeah, it's about 20,000 yards. Day sighting range, 25,000. Wind direction, uh, I think I can actually change that. I would like to change and show wind direction. Um, show compass, show base flags. Uh, pause to identify. Well, okay, so north, obviously that way, north, northeast, so it's kind of this direction. Um, that's where it's coming towards. So we want to pull in up here so that the gunfire from our cruisers, um, fight, the gun smoke blows into the enemy and not into our, our ships. Okay, two ships detected, two destroyers, it's looks like. We don't know if they've got a cruiser. Normal speed. Did you go? Keep going this way. That's two vessels detected. So far, nothing else. Now, if they don't get too close, we're going to rip these apart using uh, our nine inch guns here, as well as our six inch. Okay, squadron max, please. Time to increase that speed up here. You can keep cruising. Those are some fast ships. Uh, the Tashikiko can pretty much cut them off, though. So we're going to go for a squadron max here. Oh, he's uh, got some order issues, though. Fix yourself, mate. You won't be able to. Yeah, the, uh, the Italian ship's not as fast, unfortunately. But uh, we're going to try and uh, keep on them. It's an old ship. These guys are much newer. So they can go 26 knots. In comparison to 21 knots. And this is, I don't know, maybe going 20 knots. Just two destroyers, looks like. Nothing else. Try to go up here. Try to have you go up here. So it's a fast speed. Okay. A little bit much. They're making a turn in. Okay, hey, here we go. Nine inch guns should be opening up. We don't get too close. What's the torpedo range is looking at? Torpedo range is about that. So, yeah, definitely want to pull away. Keep our ranging. We're at like 7,000 yards. Good couple hits with some four inch guns. Toshiko, let's move up. Fast again. It's getting to night time, so it looks like this combat's going to be over. Yeah, I'm pulling out. I don't want to get going to the destroyers when we've uh, at night time. So we're going to pull back to port. That's fine. That can happen. 
Um, so we're just going to go as fast as possible. So ultra fast speed, and then we'll uh, just have the uh, game end. But yeah, hopefully we can win this war, because we do want to take the Chinese possessions. Um, and that's kind of the uh, the objective here, really. It was a draw, the Oate is in the yard, though, unfortunate. Some weight savings, our invasion was delayed. Our allies' invasion has helped us out a little bit. Uh, Germany increasing their naval budget, that's to be expected. We'll have the Akoma and the Haruna done in two years, and those are big battle cruisers that we're building. And then we're going to have four more destroyers come off the line here shortly, um, which is what we really want. Want, But yeah, currently Germany has two battleships, two dreadnoughts, five battle pre-dreadnoughts, three armored cruisers, four destroyers, and a single corvette here. Um, so in quite the situation. Aviation heavier than air, that's very interesting. We are in 1915, so we're getting to that point. Um, so I am going to go into research. We're going to go into heavy than air. We're going to go for high research into that. Um, and I'm going to go low into machinery development for now. Fleet battle invasion. Okay, here we go. Big battle now. So the objective is to get our transport ships safely, um, safely to, to shoreline. Uh, they are going to be defending pretty closely here. We're going to have you guys move up. We've got our battleship fleet. So we have our two uh, Katori class battle uh, dreadnoughts. So those are those eight 12 inch guns. Lovely ships. And then the older uh, Zeref class, which are going to be smaller, more supporting. We have a distinct lack of destroyers, but we do have quite a few uh, light cruisers who are doing a screening. Yeah, they're screening the formation. So we're going to have them approach like that. We're going to have the uh, Katori. Um, I'm going to have you be AI controlled. And I'm going to have you uh, keep cruising speeds and then just keep advancing. You are just going to stay wherever the transports go. Okay, unknown ship sighted. It looks like they're going to be coming in pretty hot. Battleships, let's do squadron max, please. Maximum speed on that. Zerf can go 21, but those can only go 19. Uh, wind, calm eastwards. Okay. So we're actually going to run AI control you then, and I'm going to have you move upwards, move that way. Um, actually, we're going to... It will come down because we don't want the wind. I'll have the heavy cruisers continue escort. Okay, we've detected. We've got one dreadnought in the front. Light cruisers, I'm going to pull you backwards. Ooh, taking some shots there. Uh, we're going to have you do line ahead, please. And I'm going to get you uh, squadron max moving. Toy. Okay, we're going to go yeah, 21 knots. Okay, the Prusen class. That has four 13-inch guns, 14 and a half inches of belt armor. That's a bloody monster, that is. Um, 12 and a half inch armor on the turrets as well. We've got, they've got far less guns. But that's built a bit like a beast. So we're going to have to get pretty close for that to be effective. We're opening up, though. We've also got their entire pre-Dreadnought, Vizin, and Vetin. Um, okay, get my light cruisers moved. They don't have that many destroyers, though, so that's something, something we can look at abusing. I'm going to get these cruisers over here because I think we're going to need it. Okay, Katori. They're going to be up here, moving up. Let's have a look at gun ranges when we are definitely in gun range. I'm going to try and match them eastward. If we can get some good hits on that, that'll be really good. I want you guys down here. Um, if we can get a few torpedoes in. Torpedo technology is a lot better nowadays. So we can definitely look at doing some long-range torpedoes into their battleship line. Okay. Yeah, we're firing our 12-inch guns pretty heavy at there. We got a hit there. Looks very nice. We got a uh, hit, though. I doubt it's doing any significant damage at this range. Um... Because they do have a significant amount of armor. 
Um, so we're going to move downwards. Uh, I need Prusa. Again, we just need to, to delay them here. But again, if we kill all these battleships, which I don't think is going to be possible. But if we could, that would obviously be very, very nice. Um, okay. Shooting our shells landing all around. Uh, we got one hit on the back. So that's a Hessen class. That's 16 inch deck uh, belt armor. Bloody hell. Eh? The Germans are just going full on the armor. Um, we took a hit. Closer range is going to do us better. These are lagging behind. If we get closer to these ships, we'll actually do a lot better about ships because we have um, 8 12 inch guns. They have 13 inch guns. So we have a faster rate of fire. Um, but our penetration at longer ranges is going to be a lot worse. Okay, I'll get a light cruiser to come in and try and kill these pre dreadnoughts. Got the heavy cruiser. They're going to leave these guys um, because this is their entire fleet. They're, they're not just going to send the battleships out like this. Like They're going to do something there. Move downwards. You move downwards. Okay, Hessen, hit, 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 hit. Um, Destroyer, I've got a little special objective for you. Ooh, okay, you're, you're a bit dead, aren't you? Keep firing. Because we've got on these 12-inch deck, a uh, belt armor, that is. So, a lot less heavily armored. I'm going to have you guys move over. You guys move back. We'd rather lose pre dreadnoughts than lose anything else. That destroys dead, though, that's for sure. We are a little bit faster than them, and they are definitely lagging behind over there. Light cruisers will eventually catch up. Heavy cruisers are on the way at full speed. Transports continue to move. Taking some heavy damage now. Come on, need some good hits in there. Okay, we are gonna we're gonna turn these guys out. If we can get a few torpedoes in, cause some chaos, force them backwards. This is definitely something we can do. I'm less concerned about losing pre dreadnoughts to be honest. Okay. Can we fire a torpedo off? No, we can't. Let's just cut them in half. Nearly there. Okay, fire. Fire. Fire one. That's what I like to see. Keep, keep it up. Keep firing. That's a hit. Good torpedo hit. Turn off. Turn off. Okay, can I get Sagami and Fuji to open up? Torpedo out. Sagami. Torpedo out. Alright, turn away, turn away. We're going to turn together there. Torpedo misses. Misses on those torpedoes. Light cruisers are coming down, however. Get back into line. What's the damage like on the Katori? Taking some water on. Took a couple heavy hits. Zaven taking some medium hits. What's the damage estimate on the Hessen and the Prusen? Medium damage. They dropped to 15 knots. Okay. That, that Vetting class is very heavily damaged now. Okay, we're going to see if we can cut them off again. Oof. Blamming into that uh, Weisenberg. Okay, we're going to pull off there. The Katori just got seriously hit. Flotation. Cruising speed, please. Pull off. Yeah, that's not good. We need to get you out of that, that situation. Let us even take hits if, if we can. Firing a few torpedoes off. Sagami, Fuji, can we get something over? Yes, we can. Torpedo away. Uh, and can we get the 
Fuji to fire one off. Negative. Turn. Yes, yeah, not use all our torpedoes up. I get it. Okay, we did get one of the hits on those Weisenbergs. Uh, the peasants, we gained some distance from them. Can I get those heavy cruisers down here ASAP? Yeah, definitely get some torpedo, good torpedo hits in. Best in was hit. Move these guys downwards. This guy's on fire, I think. No, he's not. Okay, what's the situation on the Sagami? Flotation. Okay, drop to cruising speed. Limit flooding. Okay, yeah, we're definitely doing good there. You've taken at least two of the ships out of combat. Heavy cruisers on the way. Not heavy cruisers, armored cruisers, my bad. I mean to kill these as much as pan before. Okay, Katori, cruising speed. You can lower speed actually, lower speeds. They're going right for it. They've got signal under misunderstood, that's an issue. Come across here, heavy cruisers coming or armored cruisers coming in. These guys are very slow right now. They're gonna fully ram the thing. What are you doing? Bloody hell. Alright, battleships coming in. Um, cruisers coming in. Can we get some torpedoes off? Oh, we don't have any torpedoes, do we? Guess not. We can still open fire. And we've got the Hosokaze who can come in as well. I don't know where their dreadnoughts went off to. Dreadnoughts are over there. Battleships coming across. We'll send the light cruisers more in. So their dreadnoughts have just decided to screw off for now. I'm gonna send the Katori and the Zaven back up at cruising speed. They can uh they can go back if possible. What's happened to you? Something's like seriously like they've lost like steering, like when their withers must be out or something. Rudder jammed. Okay, that's a problem. Reduce speed. Reduce speed. Okay, hopefully I didn't get that fixed. Destroy it, move back. Sagami, Zerith, move over. Light cruisers, move up. Okaze, move around. That Weisenberg itself there, we've sunk one of their ships already. We are getting some hits on that Weisenberg, though. Nothing too permanent, unfortunately. Okay, can we get some torpedoes on that back Weisenberg? We can get one across. Torpedoes being sent out. There's a Kaze. Can we get some torpedoes in the water, please? So even though, even though these are pre-dreadnoughts, if we can kill them all, like that is still a big lot of victory points. Okay, where are the good toy? Can you guys turn? Can you guys turn yet? No, you can't. It's still jammed. Okay, Tashihiko. Out of arc. That's a bit of a problem, isn't it? Because you're going to start taking some big hits if you don't get a torpedo in that Yayama. Not possible. Turn. Okay. Yayama, fire. Out of arc. How are you out of arc? Port side. Oh, God damn it. Need to turn in. Izumi, 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 Izumi. Please tell me, Izumi, you are good to fire. 
Not good, not good, not good. Tachihiko. Not good either. Turn. Not good. Okay. Cruisers coming up in from behind. I don't know where they're trying. The trend just left. Uh so they can't they still can't turn. The rudder is still jammed on that. Uh Yeyema, can you fire in? No, you can't. Okay, turn out, turn out. That Weisenberg is very slow in the war. Well, we are getting a lot of nine-inch shell hits in. So these uh, these armored cruisers are definitely doing their job. That's for damn sure. Tokiwa hit by a torpedo. Okay, that's bad. That's not good. Okay, okay. slow speeds. 14, Zerif, Zagami, cover them. My like, cruisers, out. How bad is it? Pretty damn bad. There's a lot of flooding. I don't think the Tsukiwa is going to survive that. Um, but we need to we, we need to try. One Weisenberg is still moving. Very slowly though. It got a lucky torpedo off. How are you guys doing in terms of damage repair? You're still up. You took four hits. Um, flotation is medium. I think you'll be okay. I'm not sure about some of the other ships, though. Okay, let's take this Weisenberg out. My cruisers go back to the objective. We don't need to engage totally. Roger Max, come on, let's get them. Keep hitting them. Good hits. Just chasing that. How's the current situation up here going? Katori seem okay. Let's put back to cruising speed. Okay, you guys can go down to like five knots. Just focus on getting that foot. Just don't sink. Keep hitting that thing. Heavy damage and it's on fire. Should come off. If we get like an ammo rack explosion on it, that'd be amazing. I'm going to explode. It's stationary. Throw a torpedo at it. And then we can get out of there. Fire one. Down. Well, it's on fire. That's for damn sure. Can we just... I just want to confirm its death, though. Fire torpedo. Hit. Okay, we're good. Another torpedo with the fire one and the flooding. We should be completely fine there. Okay, now we can just run the game, though. Obviously, those pre dreadnoughts still exist. We just killed four pre dreadnoughts. We lost a destroyer. We may lose a armed cruiser for it. Because our flotation is not a good, uh, good look. Move everything over so that we uh, protect our our transport ships because that's the actual point of this is to uh, yeah there we go we did it now we can just uh, wait send everything back somewhere and we know where to but we succeeded in our mission we killed four pre dreadnoughts and we got the invasion off. Um, very, very successful overall. Sagami, 50% flotation damage. That's really not great, but, you know, what can you do? Okay. 
Okay, I'm going into daylight. Yeah, this all, it, because of how much time it takes, it's, it's a long combat situation. But no, we we basically sunk their entire free general fleet, which they only have two dreadnoughts. Um, so this is a very big win for us. Very very big win, uh, and I'm hope that this will uh, this will sort the war out for us. We might not even lose that army cruiser, which would be a fantastic situation to report. We lost. No ships. Wow. We managed to recover even that other ship. We killed four pre-dreadnoughts. We took some heavy damage on one of ours. Um, we took some spadic other damage. We completed the mission. And we did some light damage to their, their dreadnoughts. Fantastic for us. 8,000 victory points. Putting us well ahead. After a victor victorious battle, our troops have landed in uh, Kaichau Bay. Um, fantastic. Um, do we want to just sink them? We do want to keep the money. We should crush them completely. Yeah, crush them completely. Um, we should set... No, we don't want to raise tensions right now. We do not want to raise tensions. Our force have taken control of the German possession. That is a fantastic news. So now we control the German China. Um... We can't really launch an invasion of the North Marianas, which I think is what, yeah, the Northern Marianas. Can't really launch an invasion anywhere else, though if we get a peace treaty, we can seize that territory. So let's have a look at what the Germans have at the moment in the area. They have, they've left. Have they left? They must be at port. I would imagine they've gone back to port. Yeah, they have. Oh my god, that's, uh, that's, that's not Germany, that's, uh, that's Britain. Um, where are your battleships? They have a battle cruiser in the Indian Ocean with another pre-dreadnought. Armored cruiser, nothing there. It seems they've just left. Germany has one pre-dreadnought in service, one battle cruiser in service, and one, um, two dreadnoughts in service. What's our damage? We'll have the Katori back up. We'll have the Fuji back up. Um, but no, we're, we're doing good. And hopefully, by doing that, the Italians should have a much easier time with things. Because we also have the Italians with their, their ships here as well. Um, two destroyers are commissioned. Seaplane carriers. Definitely want to look at those. And we've got better torpedoes again. Get them to the point where torpedoes are going to just absolutely dominate. Um... I'm going to look at... Let's design a seaplane carrier. That'd be really cool. Um, we only still be our dock size. We're not that far behind, actually. Uh, if a war with Russia breaks out, I might want to just get a piece. If we can get a piece, get a piece. Because if a war with another nation breaks out, we wipe out our victory points. Um, I'd really not want that to happen. So, we're going to go for a seaplane carrier. So, these guys are for scouting, mainly. Um, now, I've only meddled in, in, in carriers very loosely. Um, so I'm not that not that great with them. But we'll go for a 3,000 ton. Uh, which I think is fine. Pulling nation. Not inventing the sea. Largely but that's five plus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So we go flight insulation. We can only go for five of these. If I remember correctly. They have to stop to launch the aircraft. So we're going to put you at 21 knots. What's the speed of our current battleships? Yeah, 21 knots. So we'll we'll keep that as kind of part of the quote unquote carrier task. It's not really a carrier cast, uh, task group because it's five uh, seaplanes. But you know what can you do? We also probably need to invest in the air bases, so they get expensive uh, pretty damn quick. So uh, seaplane carrier or design three. Uh, we want five aircrafts. Aircraft. Um, Guns are fine. Speed is fine. We're going to go 21 knots on that. Um, we can actually reduce size if we want to. We don't need too big of a of a, of a vessel. Um, lower cost, obviously, is always very useful. Um, we don't need belt armor. We can go for a little bit higher on speeds if we wanted to. But I'm not really bothered. Um, so we can go like a 2,000 ton. Yeah, I know you'll have to stop to launch aircraft. We can go 22 knots, 21 knots. Or we can increase the gun caliber by one. That works for me. Um, so wait, fire modification, that's fine. Two months, and we'll get that on the way. I'm also going to increase our dockyards. 
and we'll have two more destroyers done shortly. I'm going to order up uh, another four destroyers to be built. Let's do three destroyers. Three more destroyers on the way. Um, and then let's do next turn. Enemy coastal raid. Let's see what the coastal raid's about. Okay, we've bought all of our ships. And this looks like they might be bringing theirs as well. Um, yeah. Uh, we're going to keep... They're doing a coastal raid, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in AI control, and we're going to just, um, because these guys can only go, what, 19, 18 knots? So we'll keep it in the 18 knot situation. So we'll go up to 18. Zoomy, you guys can go. And uh, let's see what we find. That's the, that's the question. They want to do an invasion. If we can kill these two dreadnoughts, now we end the war, basically. Um, because that is their, their last pride of their fleet. Um, so. A lot of merchant ships coming in. A lot of shipping as well. It might be on the other side there. Okay. D. So 244 spotted course east. So they are in this direction. Enemy ship spotted. Nymph class. Okay, I need more. I need my, I need my uh, light cruiser screen over. Okay, a heavy cruiser should be able to melt this thing, though. Is this all they have? Might be. Uh, yes, you can pick up survivors. The Awate is just going to chase that guy down. I would have hoped there would have been their Dreadnoughts here, but I guess they wouldn't bring a Dreadnoughts to a raid. You should be faster than you at max speed. Once we get close enough, our 9-inch guns will just rip that apart. There's light cruisers down as well. Let's go max speed on that. Come on, keep hitting it. Watch the torpedoes. Whoa, why are we going so slow now? What happened? Uh, tell me, tell me, tell me what happened. No, everything looks fine. Light breeze coming down. Just trying to chase this guy. And uh, you are going very slow for some reason. There we go. Come on. Your entire job is to kill light cruisers. Like, you should be able to do this. Come on. Hit it. Good hit. Battleships, get ready to line up and just start shelling the thing. I'm going to get this guy. We are going to get him eventually. Move. Squadron Max, please. Took some big hits. Are you telling me that thing is not going to die yet? Yeah, it's got slow though. It's a lot slower. Just rip it apart with 9-inch guns now. The Oate was hit by torpedoes, so I need to be more careful. There we go. Victory for us. Small victory, not too much to worry about. Um, we should not let them off fightly, continued operations, yeah. No, we, we will win the war. Um, so much as we will try to win it. Um, I also want to get some submarines out if possible, uh, so I can like, show you what submarines are like. Let's put these immediately into active service. So that's our 1,100 ton destroyers, those are our big boys. 
trouble in the yard. Captured enemy munitions, triple turrets, improves invasion capability for X lighters. That's nice to see. Um, and we can build some. We're going to build two Houghton Maru class C plane carriers. Um, Harikaze is on the way. Uh, got those two battle cruisers on the way as well. Currently, our funding is doing pretty damn well for itself. Um, they're sinking merchant shipping, though, which is not, not a great situation for anyone involved, but can't do much about it. Uh, mastering. Italian government, yes. We'll do gradual damage improvement control. Just kind of blitzing through now. They should hopefully... Yeah, I'm going to say I'm going to say end up. Um Yeah, that's worth it. Okay. Um that's African. I will take all of this though. We could take everything. The problem with taking everything though is that we then have to protect an African colony. And I'm not too bothered by that. So, I'm just going to take all the German Asian possessions. Um, our budget massively reduces. Light cruiser armor configuration, interesting. That's uh, going to be very. We should look at designing a light cruiser, a new light cruiser, light cruisers. But no, we have gained control now of the North Marianas, the Caroline Islands, the uh, what was the Bismarck Archipelago, and the Marshall Islands. So now we have territory in the South Pacific. We've bolstered our Southeast Asian possessions, and we're moving into. Uh, the period where we're going to start looking at potentially carriers as we have our first seaplane carriers on the way. We've got our battle cruisers on the way. We destroyed the German Navy pretty much and we're nearly on par or above them in terms of our naval budget. We're nearly the third largest naval power um, in the world, which would obviously be very, very useful. Um, things that I want to be looking at for, for next time is getting submarines, getting a naval aircraft out, be seaplanes, be other planes. Get our keep building, continually building our battle cruise and battleship fleet because those are going to be relevant for at least another 20 years, 25 years. Um, so definitely worth to continue building of them. Um, and then look at I think the next target I want to go after is not the Royal Navy because the Royal Navy is going to destroy us, it's going to be the French. If we can beat the French, then we can take all of Indochina. And if we take Indochina, that's going to be a big benefit to us. Another thing that we did gain from this, as you can tell, is we've gotten access to oil. Um, the Caroline Islands have access to oil, which is a big deal. A little bit late now, because I think you get access to oil no matter what, in the 1920s or something. But still, we're going to be able to build ships with oil, which can be more efficient, um, going to be more capable. And yeah, so... We'll be looking to defend those assets, put some air bases around, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. I uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed today's episode. A lot of action, a lot of a uh, lot of back and forth. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys next time. And special thanks to members: Impassive, Nine Zero Zero One, Scott Mundy, Ryan Smelly, It's Honey, Zaven, Death Himself, Cliff S, Alex Roberts, Fishick, Gravmania, Louis Neto, and King Strozer.